Um, the next question is, um, says, hello doctor, I am inquiring about your video on safe wisdom tooth surgery near the sinus cavity. Could you please provide some provide information on the anticipated recovery time for this surgical procedure? So the question is uh, the the safe wisdom tooth surgery when a, when a wisdom tooth is lying close to the sinus cavity. So first of all, thank you for watching our video on our uh, social media channels, and uh, we appreciate it very much. And so. What you're asking me is your your one of your wisdom tooth is possibly like lying close to the sinus cavity. This is their sinus cavity on the right side and the left side here. And one of your wisdom tooth is possibly lying close to the sinus cavity. So whenever you go to your dentist and they should be able to in this modern age, you know, we all do what we call it as a CT scan or a CAT scan in our office. Every single one of our patients get the CT scan or the CAT scan when they come for uh, their initial exam or the initial consultation. So once we do that, we should be able to evaluate how, uh, the, how proximal is the tooth to the sinus cavity. And depending on that, your uh, dentist or your surgeon should be able to explain to you uh, how safe it is for you to uh, do the procedure. I can tell you, you know, doing this for the last about 30 years, it's relatively safe or it is very safe uh, depending on how close, uh, however close it is to the sinus cavity or only on very rare occasions, we shy away from not removing a tooth if it is really high up you know, near the sinus cavity. On most occasions, we are able to remove them very safely. And to second part of your question, you know, what is your recovery like? Again, depending on uh, whether, what is your age and whether you have any type of medical conditions, whether you do have any type of infection on the tooth that needs to be removed, all of those are going to determine uh, the recovery time from the procedure. And you know, I, I, I tell the story all the time uh, to uh, the college kids who come see me and we are, in, uh, we are in Dallas, Texas. We got multiple colleges here and multiple colleges mm -hmm. even in Austin and College Station. So I tell them all the time, kids come to see me on a Friday evening get the wisdom teeth removed. I don't even see them for a follow-up and they're driving on Sunday uh, to college back. So it could be as simple as like a day or two for your recovery, all being well. So I hope I answer your question. Um, adding to that, habits also play in a, a part in how they heal, correct? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Smoking, for example, it may make your recovery miserable. So do not smoke. and. And we give you a bunch of instructions following the procedure. Do not suck with the straw and do not eat anything hard. And we do give and use the ice pack. If you follow the instructions carefully mm -hmm. and for the most part, the recovery is going to be very smooth. 